I was diagnosed when I was 33 and I didn't realize at that point that that was young. You know, I thought cancer affected everyone from age one to age 100 and it didn't really matter. But once I started going to the doctors and seeing the different oncologists and talking to different doctors, they'd be like, oh, you're so young. You're so young to have colon cancer. You know, you're not supposed to have this until you're 50 or 60. So I kind of felt like, oh, am I the only one? You know, what's so special about me? Why did I get it at this age and not at 50 or 60? So I guess I felt a little bit like the oddball. Um, none of my friends have cancer in any way, shape, or form. Uh, let's see, do I have any friends with cancer? Not that I know of, but um, out of my, my tight group of friends, none of, none of them have cancer. And, you know, they were all just as shocked that I was diagnosed so young, so I guess I kind of felt like an oddball. The Colon Club has made a difference in my experience with cancer because I had an opportunity to talk to 11 other people that also have it and are also all kind of on the younger side. In Boston, there weren't any other folks that had cancer at my age, and everyone else that I knew that had cancer had breast cancer. So it sort of is the same, but not, you know, it's different symptoms, different type of cancer, different type of chemo. So I didn't really have anyone that I could talk to person to person about colon cancer. I joined a couple of support groups online because I didn't really need the face-to-face -face support group of, you know, going to a meeting and talking to other people about the situation. I was very fine doing it on online and with my schedule I was mostly working and I was still working on my TV show so I didn't have time to go to a support group so I would get on the Yahoo group and talk to other people about colon cancer online but here in the colon club it's like everywhere I turn there's somebody who you know got nauseous there's somebody else who had radiation there's somebody who had the same type of chemotherapy as me but they had different symptoms you know, so it was good to like compare notes, compare scars, um, count our surgeries, you know, I've had four, somebody else had 11, you know, talk about all those experiences with people that went through it as well. I found that that's, that's been very informative and somewhat cathartic for me. When I was picked as a colander model, I was very excited, a little bit nervous and surprised. I didn't know anything about the colander at all and my friend Barbara who works at Mass General Hospital had my picture on her desk and a friend of hers at work saw my picture and said who's that girl and my friend Barbara told her about me and that I have colon cancer and the friend said oh look at this colander you know she should be in it she's so pretty and Barbara emailed me and said you should do this and I'm I'll try anything once and I said why not I love to take pictures and it's a great cause and if I can do anything to teach other people about colon cancer this is definitely the avenue to do it in so I was really excited to be a part of it and I was just shocked when I heard from Molly and Hannah for me to be photographed in the outfit that I was wearing I was wearing like a gray sports bra you know, I felt very comfortable and the photographer asked me, you know, how did I feel about my scars and I said, you know, I'm very comfortable with them. I never felt self-conscious about them. I've always had them, not on display, but I didn't change the way I dress because I have these scars. So I would go to the beach and swim in pools and, you know, wear my two-piece bikini. So to be photographed like that for me was just, I didn't even think about showcasing my scar. It was more about me and did I look good, did I feel good, was I comfortable and the photographer was great and I think he got really good shots of my scar. So my scars never look better than it did today. This weekend has been so so much fun. I felt like me and all the other models have sort of become siblings in this whole colon cancer thing and just to see everybody get to know each other and talk about our experiences has been I mean I can't even explain it. it's been very 
very informative and sad because I hear other people's story and I always say to someone else you know don't think that there's not someone that has a situation worse than you because there could be it's not that bad for you somebody else might have it worse and here I've talked to 11 other people who all have 11 varying degrees of worse than better than just between the 12 of us and that has been you know, I feel like now I have a, an army of people that I can turn to and say, hey, you know, I'm feeling kind of crappy. You know, let's just chat for a minute about anything so I can get my mind off the possibility of death. So even though I just met them, you know, within the last 48 hours, I feel like I can, I can get strength from them because other people that are not faced with something that's going to kill you, they just, they don't understand. And, and the colder models do understand. You know, they've been fighting just like I've been fighting. And they know that, you know, the cancer could come back at any minute and kill them. And that's hard to explain to somebody that doesn't have, you know, an illness like cancer that's so pervasive and just so deadly. And I see some of the cancer survivors that are colon models they're 11 years out so that gives me hope that you know maybe I have another five years left and I can plan to have fun in those five years and um, I can I can count on all of them for I know that I can count on them for whatever I need